Shalom. Shalom. Wanna first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. We like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Uh, those are the men who taught us this truth. A peace and blessing to all you brothers out there that are doing the work in truth and in sincerity, who are of the hopeful elect. Also, Shalom to all those that believe in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and uh, support the truth. Right. And uh, we wanna, well, we're gonna go into a lesson dealing with the understanding of these scriptures. Uh, you you must have the understanding of the, of the Bible to know what what's, what it's talking about, mm -hmm. and that only makes sense, you know. So this whole uh, lesson is is basically just gonna be over having the understanding, you know. Mm -hmm. So we just wanna go jump. Uh, we gonna jump straight into the uh, to the scriptures. Come on, start with that Daniel. Yeah, Daniel twelve and nine. This is Daniel twelve and nine, and he said, "Go thy way, Daniel." For the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Right. So, the understanding of this book was shut up until the time of the end. Could get the uh, Hebrews, uh, the first chapter, the second verse. And why? Why this brother getting that scripture? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. That's why you got so many people out here that no accounts in the Bible. They think they know breakdowns, but they don't have the understanding. Right. You know? Like, right now, you got these different people talking about uh, Babylon is not America, is not talking about America. Or right. Babylon the Great is not talking about America. You know? And hey, you, you don't even really have to have a high-level understanding to read the different parts that talk about Babylon the Great. The daughter of Babylon, the seed that, that that's talking about America, right? That just shows that the Most High didn't give the understanding to everybody, right? Because it's easy to understand. That's something that's easy to understand. Mm -hmm. What's easy to the elect? Come on, you know the hopeful elect. You got something? Hebrews. Oh no! I... All right, yeah, go ahead. This is Hebrews <laughs> one and two. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by His Son. Started, started, started one, one. Con, Hebrews one and one. Yahweh, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Right. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made all the worlds. So that's so when the last days the came about mm -hmm. when the Lord came on this when the Lord came on come on the scene that's when the understanding uh came out because when he was living and walking with the disciples which became apostles he was given the understanding of these scriptures mm -hmm. you know and when he was crucified that's when the understanding really was released through the Holy Spirit and we Lord willing we gonna uh well, we gonna get into that God you know there's more on there? Oh, no, no. You can go it. back, read Daniel 12 and 9 one Con. more time, and then we'll, Con. we'll go to, uh, we'll move on. Okay. This is Dan the book of Daniel 12 and 9. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, mm -hmm. and none of the wicked shall understand. Right. So, that... I mean, it could be talking about Esau, because Esau is the wicked. Mm -hmm. They definitely don't understand these scriptures. And you have uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that get into the book, and you don't understand it. Mm -hmm. You know, the ones of you that's in the, into Christianity, you even have these other groups. Mm -hmm. They don't have the, the understanding of these scriptures. Because if you can't see that the RFID microchip is... The mark of the beast with all this information, right? You know, with all the uh, the lessons that's been done on it from the apostles of Great Millstone, the elders on down. You you can't see that the RFID microchip is the R, is the uh, is the mark of the beast. Then you definitely don't have the understanding, right? Uh, or you know, uh, you the Holy Spirit is not dealing with you, right? Because the Holy Spirit is it is a uh, spirit of understanding. Come on. 
you know, and we're like, we're going to get into that too, mm -hmm. Lord willing. The spirit of understanding, the spirit only gave that understanding to certain men. That's that it. the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, man. And that's what we're talking about. Everybody ain't going to get the understanding of what this book say. You could read Job 9 to 24 and quote it and know it backwards and forwards, but do you know what it's talking about? Right. You know it, but you don't understand it, man. You know? Um, I'm going to read that one yeah, more time. Okay. It says, Daniel 12 and 10, it says, Many shall be purified and made white. Right. That's the elect. Mm -hmm. And it's happening right now because we pure and made, I say, purified and made. And made white. That represent uh, purity or mm -hmm. righteousness through this uh, this understanding, mm -hmm. you know? Understanding these scriptures. And the elect, that's the plot to the elect. Yep. And um, you see that happening right now, starting with the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders of Great Millstone on down, mm -hmm. you know? Go ahead. It says, many shall be purified and made white and tried. And tried. Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother topic. Yep. You know? <laughs> but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But, right. But the wise shall understand. But the wise shall understand. And who are the wise? The elect. Yep. The elect of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because those are the ones that are, that are out on the highways and byways proclaiming that we're the Israelites, and that we are, we know this book. We were teaching this Bible. Like yep. clockwork. You know? Con. Uh, that's it on that. Let's get a Revelation chapter 5. Uh, start at verse. Start at verse 4. Con. It's the book of Revelation. Before, before you read too, I want to you know, say this. So we read in Daniel 12 and 9 about... The understanding of the Bible was going to be closed up until the time of the end. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Hebrews, and it Hebrews told you that when the Lord was on the scene, for lack of better words, those that was the last days. That was that was the last. And, it, and these last days was during the time when the Lord was on the scene. Right. That's what started the last days. You know. So it said that the word was going to be shut up until the last days. And that's when the last days come about. Mm -hmm. So I just want to, you know, throw that out there. Keep that in mind. If you got a precept. Oh, uh, real quick. Point. This is the book of St. John 16 and 7. It says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. You know, that was the Lord speaking. Telling them that, uh, I read it again and say, nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away, you know, because that's that's the seal being unloosed, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he had to come, he had to be crucified, and he came back, mm -hmm. and then he went away, you know. So he was saying it is expedient for you that I go away. Right, and when he went away, that's when the, the, the Holy Spirit rested upon starting with the 12 uh, apostles because the scripture tell you we gonna get it lord willing that he told him to stay here in jerusalem uh until i endure you with power from on high Come. and that was uh pentecost that when it happened when they got the spirit the holy spirit was when they had pentecost you know or uh the feast of first fruit <clears throat> come on. So, uh, go ahead, you got it. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Right, and when he departed, he did. He said, I'm, he said I'm, when I leave, tarry here. Come on. Till you be endued with uh, power from on high. You know? Come on. Uh, this the book of Revelation 5 and 4. It says, and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open to read the book, neither to look thereon. Because you start up a verse. Uh huh. Three. Uh, you want me to start at one? Come on. This is okay. Revelation 5 and 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne 
a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. That's talking about the, the Bible, the mm -hmm. scripture. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's talking about it was it had a seal, meaning it's completely sealed. The right. understanding was the shut off. Yeah, the spiritual Locked padlock mm -hmm. on the on the scripture, so to speak. Come on. It says sealed with seven seals. On you it says a uh, book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book? And to loose the seals thereof. Right. And, to loose the understanding. Mm -hmm. Like the book is closed. We don't have, we don't have the understanding. Mm -hmm. Who's worthy to to release the, the understanding, understanding, so to speak? It's a uh and to loose the seals thereof, and no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open, to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, because Salakia. So that's behold, talking about mm -hmm. when they say look thereon, it's dealing with uh, understanding. He said nobody was over the, able to open the book and then look in. When you look in the book, you're reading. So when they start reading, nobody, they couldn't get an understanding right. out of it. You know? Shit, Go like ahead. you were talking about earlier, the Lord had to break the parables down to the uh, disciples, man. Over and over again, he would, and it, matter of fact, I'm going I'm to pull a precept real quick. You can speak, bro. Okay. You know? Because they didn't have an understanding, man. But he taught them. Uh, Let me see. I don't know what the scripture is at off top, off the top of my head. If it come to me, I uh, I bring it out. But it's a scripture that say that when Yahweh spoke to the people, he only spoke in parables. Come on. You know. Oh. I just read it. I'm looking for it. Lord willing, we'll find the, the scripture. But uh, like the brother was saying, when uh, the disciples was walking with the, our Lord Yahweh, they didn't understand them parables. But then the, the Lord, He would break the parables down to them. Uh, he would He would give them the understanding. You know, come. On. But I don't got to fuss, all right, man. If the, if if the spirit allow, we'll we'll uh, we'll bring that the one that I'm thinking about. I will bring that out. Come on. <clears throat> Shit, I can't remember where it was. What you looking for? Just what you said. Thirteen and nine. Oh, Matthew. Let's see. It's given it to be. them. It's the uh, mysteries of the kingdom. Yeah, con. That's it. Shit. Right. Con the water. This is Saint Matthew thirteen and nine. It says. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Okay? Right. So just to let you know, that that's a cut to the so-called Christian church that the Lord came and, and was teaching everybody. Right. That, you know, the Lord came for everybody. He wouldn't have spoken parables, and he only was giving the understanding to the ones that was following. And not even all of Israel was following them. Right. You know? He only gave it to a particular group. Yeah. You know, the the, the apostles, starting with the, the 12 uh, disciples, which became uh, apostles, you know? It said, so that's, that shows you right there in the scripture that the brother just read, that everybody is not going to get the understanding. So when they read this book, they can read the same parable that the Lord was speaking. And this whole book is a book of parables. Yeah. You know? If you could get a real... You got something you are going to bring up? Uh, 
Psalm 73 and 1. Okay. That's what you're looking for. I think it's 73 <laughs> or 78. I think it's 78. Uh, 78 and 1. And that was yeah. pertaining to your This is what the brother is about to read. Is dealing with uh, Yahweh Shai. Because this whole book represents the Lord. That's right. So, you know, go ahead, bro. Oh, uh, Psalms for, uh, 78. I was about to say 40 and 7. This is Psalm 78 and 1. It says, Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. Okay. Uh, and uh, when Yahweh Shah was, I can't find the scripture, but when Yahweh Shah was speaking in uh, parables, he quoted Psalm 78. He said, now is fulfilled what is written in the prophet. Come. And then he quoted, he quoted Psalm uh, 78, 1, was it 1 and 2? Oh, uh, yeah, come. 1, 2, and mm -hmm. 3, just 1 and 2. Um. Uh, yeah, basically just one and two. One and two. Come so on. he quoted he quoted that and said it's fulfilled. So all the parables that he was bringing out, he was like, this is the fulfillment of what was written uh, in, in the book of Psalm 78, starting at one. Yeah, Con, uh, that's in St. Matthew uh, 13 and 35. Yeah, you can bring it up. It says, uh, I start up at 33. It says, another parable spake he unto them the kingdom of heaven is like unto unto leaven which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was leaven all these things spake Yahweh Shai unto the multitude in parables and without a parable spake he not unto them oh well, that answered both for the that's what the scripture that I was looking for mm -hmm. so yeah it's about to come <laughs> <laughs> Read that part again. Con, it's That's say, the exact mm -hmm. scripture that I was looking for. It say it say Matthew thirteen and thirty four. It says all these spake Yahweh shout unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable spake he not unto them. <laughs> well, so he she, you the just parable. it. He was coming with metaphors and riddles so you can understand <laughs> uh, uh, when he spoke to the people. Go ahead. It says thir verse thirty five. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. That's it. And this was, uh, was that a Psalm of David? Okay, because in verse 36 it say, Then Yahweh shall send the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. They wanted right. to know. Right. Give us understanding. We didn't understand that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lord, we didn't understand. It went over our head. You know, can you tell us what you was talking right. about? And then he went and broke it down to them. He mm -hmm. didn't say, everybody come here. Come, come on, on in. I'm going to break it down to you. You know? So he broke that down to them when they was in secret. You know? Right. In private. That's it. Privy. Uh, want me to go back to the Revelation 5? Uh, yeah, come oh, on. Cool. Okay. This is Revelation 5, and uh, back and forth says, I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Right, going back to Daniel 12 and 9, mm -hmm. you know, that the, the there were seals, seven seals put on the scriptures, in a spiritual sense, right, to where nobody could get the understanding of the, of the Bible, right. You know, it says, and one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, or Yahweh, you know, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. Right. Continue. And I beheld, and lo. In the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb. And that lamb, by the way, is capital L-A-M-B. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, as it has had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of Yahweh sent forth into all the earth. 
So it's uh, it talk about the lamb that was slain. That was Yahweh He was crucified. Con. That's the lamb being slain. And when that happened, that's what uh, loosed the seals, basically. Con. Even though he came, he uh, he came back after the third day. Mm -hmm. He dwelt. He walked with the apostles, the disciples, for forty days, and then he departed back to the spirit world. To sit on the right hand of the Most High, uh, as the scriptures say. Con. You know, and uh, when he did that, that's when he sent the uh, the Holy Spirit, you know. Yep. The Comforter, man. And he did it during the time mm -hmm. of, uh, I'll say it again, during the time of uh, Pentecost. When they, when you read Acts, the, the second chapter around the fifth verse. Con. It tells you, you know, when they got this spirit to... Uh, Spirit came upon them where they could speak and uh Tongue. speak and under well understand the different languages. Gone. And that goes into what understanding. Yeah. So what came out of that whole deal when they were speaking a different tongue and they could understand the different languages that were being spoke? Understanding. Okay, I understand what he's saying. You know. Right. And they was amazed at that. Right. You know. You want to get that it? That was a miracle. I mean, I got it. I okay, got it. If you want me to bring it out. Okay. Okay, this is uh, the book of Acts, chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Could you do me a favor mm -hmm. before you read that? Go to Luke and... Uh, you know what? We'll come back. Well, that's all right. Go ahead and read... Uh, in the Acts, where you at? And Con. we'll go back to Luke. Okay. This is the book of Acts 2 and 1. It's, I'll read it, mm -hmm. Luke 2. I'll read it. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, there were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem. They began to mm -hmm. speak with other tongues. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Uh, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under the heaven. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So it's letting you know right there, too, that uh, Israel was in other nations speaking different languages, man. Right, in other uh, lands scattered, mm -hmm. you know, and they were being, uh, they were identified by the name of that land that they were living yeah, in. Yeah, Mm-hmm. But uh, they knew that they were Israelites. Right. You know, that's why they was coming to keep the feast of uh, Pentecost. Pentecost. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, Acts 2 and 7. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in his own tongue wherein were, we were born? Perithians and Medes and Elamites and so the, mm -hmm. the apostles to start speaking in, in tongues. Yeah, they started speaking in their language. The languages where they dwelt. Yeah, you know. It says, uh, Parthian, Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopot Mesopotamia and in Judea and in Cappadocia, in Pontus. And Asia, for, for, for Gia, and Pamphylia, in Egypt, and in the parts of Libya, about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews, and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of Yahweh. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others, others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with one with the eleven, Salakia, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, 
and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. Well, nobody drinking that early in the day, man. Right. Okay. Uh, but because you know they they just assume with well, all these all these men been drinking, they all right. drunk. You know, so he he stood up bold and letting he's letting them know. You know, it say uh, for these men for these are not drunken as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. So this was spoken in the Old Testament by the prophet Joel, man. Uh, and it shall come to pass in the last days again, saith Yahweh, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And your con, you know. You can speak on it. Oh, just yeah, let you, you know got, that you know. Th these things are to happen are, are happening now, man. Right. You know, these yeah. are those last days. Right, and it it's happening all over again because mm -hmm. it happened. It happened then, then, and it's happening now. Exactly. Like the scriptures say, there's nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. You know, history uh, repeats itself. And he got brothers out there that speak in different tongues too. Right. You know. That's it. Uh, you want me to get that Luke? Yeah, if you could go to Luke and uh, bring out verse uh, let me see. I'm trying to find a good starting spot. Because we have to do a lot of reading. Mm-hmm. Just to draw out, so we can draw understanding, right. you know. Because mm -hmm. I could just hit some key points in here, but I want to draw the understanding back. out, mm -hmm. you know. So go ahead and start at verse uh, 15. Okay. And we're going to do a list, going to be a lot of reading. So. Okay. This is St. Luke 24 and 15. And it came to pass. That while they communed together and reasoned, Yahweh himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? And the, and the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, Cleopas answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and has not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Yahweh of Nazareth, which was a which was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before Yahweh and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death, and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us aston astonished, which were early at the sepulcher. And when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even so as the women had said, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart. So they had doubt. <laughs> it was going there. And that's, you know, I just want to give some, you know, bring out the backdrop before we get into the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the point that, you know, ties into the lesson. You know, they had doubt. That you know that was that wasn't the Lord that must that wasn't the Messiah to come, you know it was doubt. Now we don't with them. Right, you know, it's he been, was supposed to come. It's been three days. Israel. Yeah, three days and been passed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know we had no sign of you know where's the kingdom. Right, you know, the where's Romans redemption? Is still, yeah, the Romans is still in power. You know what I'm saying? Where's the Lord to reign supreme on mm -hmm. the, on the planet Earth? Go ahead, Doc. 
It says, uh, verse 25, Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. So you ain't even believe what the prophets, are, you know, had, had told you. It says, Ought not Yahweh Shai to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? It says, And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Right. So now, you know, they had been with Yahweh, well, they had been with Yahweh Shai. Now he's expounding in the scriptures to him, but he's there physically there. He's physically there or was physically there with the uh, disciples and uh, he was expounding in the scriptures about the prophecies concerning himself. Right. You know? You go You go ahead. Um, real quick, let me see. Right. I just want to check something real quick. Real fast in a hurry. Okay, all right. Uh, Salakia. This is uh Saint Matthew, I mean Saint Luke uh twenty four and um I'll start back at twenty six. Ought not Yahweh Shai to have suffered these things and to enter and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh to the village whither they went. And he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and brake it, and brake Salakia, and gave to them, and their eyes were open. Right. The bread representing uh, uh, the word, you know, uh, understanding. Because it say he gave them, he gave, he blessed it, break it, and gave it to them, mm -hmm. and their eyes were open. Yep. So he's starting to increase them with understanding. Mm -hmm. He's expounding in the scriptures, and uh, he's doing uh, actions that represent, uh, that has a spiritual meaning to him, or like a, a what? A omen nomen. Right. You know? That was symbolic things. He break the bread, he blessed it, then he break it and he gave it to them to eat. Mm -hmm. And then it say that, you know, their eyes were open. Yep. Go ahead. Uh verse thirty one. And their eyes were open and they knew him. And he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us? While he talked with us. So they felt the spirit. Mm -hmm. They felt the the Holy Spirit. Even though he hadn't, Pentecost hadn't come, but they, he said, damn, we felt that energy. Yeah. That understanding. Mm -hmm. Shit, you know? Just like we did. <laughs> yeah. When we first was like, man, we understand this. It was burning inside us, man. Well, right. it still is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying when we first heard it, you know? Right. It says, uh, verse 32. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures? Yeah, while so while he was going into the scriptures, so they, they, they was, mind was enlightened, so mm -hmm. to speak. That's exactly so the scriptures talk about keep your lamps burning, mm -hmm. you know? Yep, that's exactly it. You become enlightened, man. You get the light. This word is the light. The understanding in this word is light, man. And that's what make you, you make your heart brilliant. Because, you know, you measure light in brilliance, man. That's why when they say somebody's really smart, they call them brilliant. Because right. that's, how, that's how you measure light, you know. Uh, verse uh, 31. And their eyes were open, and they knew him. And he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way? And while he opened to us the scriptures. Right. And they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared to Simon. And they told what things were done in the way 
and how he was known of them in breaking of bread. And as they thus spake, Yahweh Shah himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do and why do thoughts arise in your hearts which let you know again your heart is your mind? Right. Because you ain't got no thoughts in that vessel pumping in your chest, man. That's it. Just a side note. Uh, verse 39. Behold, my hands and my feet, that is, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit had not flesh and bones as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they yet believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and of an honeycomb. And he took it and did eat before them. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. So letting you know that all of this was talking about the Lord, man. Right. The prophets was talking about the Savior coming to get us out of here. Since the days are old, man, that a Savior, Shiloh, would come. You know, uh, uh, Isaiah 53 and 1, who had believed our report, man? And to whom is the arm of Yahweh revealed? Who is it revealed to, man? Who is going to believe this? The ones that get understanding. Right, right. You know? Um, verse 45. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand then the scriptures. he opened <laughs> their understanding. Yahweh shall open their understanding so that they could understand, might understand, uh, the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So going back to the you know to the topic, or you know about uh, you got to understand these scriptures to understand what's going on, you know. Or when you read these scriptures, you got to read it with understanding. Yeah, you and know? the Lord got to give you that understanding. Yeah, that's it. Or uh, else you're not gonna get it, man. Okay. So he was giving them the understanding. But he was with him at that point. Right. He was going to leave, and they and he was going when he left, he was going to leave him. He left him with the uh, understanding, he, of, understanding the of the word through the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. which was going to, as we going to read it, as we read down. Come on. Verse 45, uh, St. Luke 24 and 45. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written. And thus it behooved Yahweh Shai to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. Now when it say preach in his name among all nations, that go right back to what we just read in Acts because we were scattered in all nations, man. Right. Okay? We're going to be coming from every every part of the earth, man. Okay? But the, the main deliverance is going to be right out of here, out of Babylon, man. Okay? Uh, verse uh, 48. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with the power from on high. That's it. And what's that talking? It started, it started with when he, the, uh, the account that we read in Acts chapter 2. But uh, it goes, it, it extends on to the day, you know, that we have the, uh, the, the Holy Spirit. Come on. The understanding. You know, we don't have the, the power now. We don't have the power to heal 
you know, and, and do those things as of yet. But they had it back then, you right. know. And the first sign that he showed them that this is I this is I that uh this is the spirit that I was talking about, the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. or the comforter. Right. Is when they were speaking in those tongues. Right. And understanding was drawn from that. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh from there what I want to do. I got some scriptures lined up. Let's get uh Proverbs four and seven. Come on. This is the book of Proverbs 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Wisdom is the, all that was written in the Bible, that's the wisdom. Right. So if anybody can spew wisdom out, you know, meaning you could talk, man, you think this person is, <laughs> is deep and is all knowledgeable because he knows the Bible from front to back. You know? Go ahead, bro. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So while you getting into the you knowing that what's in the in the book, you gotta get understanding. Right. With all thy getting, get under with all the wisdom that you're getting, get understanding. Mm-hmm. You know? Them D it's it's a lot of guys that's losing and failing right now. We're dealing with the understanding, man. The shy t shy town tried and refined, I think <laughs> whatever they the name of them guys is, y'all losing man, in the spirit, y'all don't have the understanding, you know, these different uh, alphabet groups in Israel, y'all don't have the understanding. A lot of y'all still believe that Cornelius is a is an Edomite or man, of another nation. I U I C y'all don't deal with the name. Or the Hebrew. And then you got these wacky, tacky uh, Christians, as the uh, apostles termed them, you know, gave them that, that title. <laughs> uh, Y'all definitely don't have no understanding, man. Mm -hmm. This Holy Trinity doctrine is complete madness. This this God, God and who the world knows as Jesus is, is one entity is bull. It's, that's BS. Right. And if you read the scripture, if you read the scriptures with understanding, there's no way you're going to draw that conclusion out right. of it. You know? You know? If you read this book with understanding, you would know that who this book is geared to. It's only for the children of Israel, man. Period, point blank. From beginning to the end. If you read this book with understanding... You like the brother said. You know America's mentioned in here. Right. You know that the so-called white man is Esau and is the devil. Man. And not that just America's mentioned, but that Babylon the Great is America and, and gonna be destroyed. That's it. Okay. Um, I think that was it on uh, Proverbs. You got something? Unlock. All right, I got a scripture. Real okay. Quick. This is uh, Ephesians chapter one, verse eight. Because the scriptures, as, we, as we've as been bringing out, it definitely deals with understanding. You must have the understanding of these scriptures, you know, and under, in order to know what this word is talking about. I think at the beginning of the video, I said you must have understanding of the scriptures to understand the scriptures. But what I, what I meant to say was you must have understanding of these scriptures to know what this word is talking about. Yeah. Either way, it's saying the same thing, but saying the same thing. But you must understand, have understanding of this Bible, to understand what it's talking about, to know what it's talking about. Right. Uh, this is Ephesians chapter one, verse eighteen, and it reads. Uh, well, I started verse seventeen. Well, I started sixteen. It says, "Cease not to give thanks." For you, making mention of you in my prayers. Uh, that's what Paul was saying to the believers in the church, <clears throat> the church of Ephesus. Uh, verse seventeen, that the most uh, that Yahweh, or the Most High of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, the Father of Glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom, and revelation, and knowledge of Him. 
that's dealing with understanding. Because it said that the Most High through his son, Yahweh Shai, uh, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of him. And then verse 18 expounds on verse 17. It says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of his glory. I'm sorry, and the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. So, you know, I want to focus on that, the part of the verse where it says, the eyes of your understanding hmm. being enlightened. Mm -hmm. So what Paul brought, what did Paul, when Paul was teaching the, the different churches, he was bringing understanding of, of what these scriptures is talking about, what was, what the Old Testament is talking about, because they didn't have the New Testament, by the way, when Paul was on the scene. He wasn't, this, what we read in Ephesians, Philippians, and Romans, that wasn't constructed yet, you know, so they only had the Old Testament to go from go by you know i got a, uh, another you got something uh nah go ahead brother all right i got one i got another precept real quick this is uh colossians chapter 1 verse 9 colossians 1 and 9 and it reads uh for this cause we also since the day we heard it do not cease to pray for you well let me i'm gonna start up a little bit. I'm going to start at verse 1. This is Colossians chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shabbat by the will of Yahweh and uh, Timotheus, our brother. It says, To the saints and faithful brethren in Mashiach, which are at Colossus, grace be unto you and peace from the, the Most High, our Father, and the Lord Yahweh Shabbat Mashiach. We give thanks to Yahweh and to the to we give thanks to the Most High and and the Father of our of uh, of our Lord Yahweh Shammashiach, praying always for you since we heard of your faith, since we heard you believe in mm -hmm. what was preached unto you. Uh, since we heard of your faith in uh, Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And of the love which ye have to all the saints. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in word of the truth of the gospel, which is come unto you as it is in all the world, and bringeth forth fruit as, as it doth also in you. Since the day ye heard it, I'm sorry, since the day ye heard of it and knew the grace of Yahweh in truth. Uh, verse 7. As ye also learn of uh, Epaphras, mm -hmm. our dear fellow servant, who is for your faithful uh, minister of Mashiach, or Yahweh Shai, who also declared unto us your love in the spirit. So they really, they was, uh, they was full of faith, you know. And uh, that was reported back to Paul by, uh, Ep Ep how you say the name? Uh, Ep Ep Epaphras? Um, Ep Epaphras? Ep and that's a hard one for me to pronounce. So, <laughs> some, 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 some like it. Ep Ep Epaphras. Epaphras. And verse nine is the uh, is the key point that I want to bring out, and it's, it reads: For this cause we also, since the day we heard it about their faith in Yahweh Shai, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of His will, in all Come. wisdom and spiritual understanding. So, Paul just didn't say. You know, we want y'all to be filled with the knowledge and the wisdom. He's, he he concluded it saying with all spiritual understanding. A lot of these people out here are not spiritual, man. Right. Majority of, of the Israelites are not spiritual, you know. 
these heathens, you don't stand a chance, man. <laughs> Come on. Y'all corner, man. Right. So you get into this book with your corner mind, you you're not gonna understand it. Right. Christianity is dead, man. That shit is dead. I can't remember exactly who it was. Uh, if it was one of the apostles, it might have been uh, the Elder Yashawamba. Uh, had put up a video and said something to the effect of, by us bringing out this truth, we making you so-called Christians have to go actually read your scriptures, man. Because it's obvious the 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 so called the people in these so called churches don't read these scriptures, man, not at all, and they pick and choose which ones they wanna, you know, the the feel good scriptures, you know, the ones that you know help you to get along, just everybody just get 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 along. The you ones nobody feel get con. The ones that keep you, like the apostles say that uh plantation Christianity, man. Okay. But now you haven't actually go and read this. Right. You know? And you still can't understand. You still don't it. get it. Because this understanding is only given to a particular group of men. You know? And we went through scriptures to show that. Mm hmm. One of the, uh, one of the well, good scripture that came out, Matthew 13 and 9. You know? Kind. And that was the Lord speaking in that in that verse. Mm hmm You got something, bro? Nah. All right. Could you bring out and we'll, Lord willing, we'll wrap it up on this uh, on these last couple of scriptures. First John chapter five. Mm hmm Bring out verse six and then jump to uh twenty. This is Saint John, to lock it. This is First John, five and uh, you said start well. Yeah, six. Con, five and six. It says. This is he that came by the water and blood, even Yahweh Shahamashiach, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that bears witness, because the spirit is true. So the spirit is true. It's mm -hmm. talking about the con another word for the when you see a spirit like that. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the Comforter or the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The scriptures have Holy Ghost in yeah, it, they come. but it's Holy. It's the Holy Spirit. And it's capitalized. We don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Um, verse 7. For there are three that bear record in... That was it. The oh, verse okay. 6. Come jump on. to uh, 20. Okay. This is First John 5 and 20. And, then, and I'm going to say mm -hmm. this too. This, this is how you get understanding. Precept upon precept. Yeah. That's Isaiah 28, starting around the 8th and 9th verse. Mm -hmm. It tells you. You know, we don't have to get it, but you got it, bro. Come on. This is First John 5 and 20. It says, And we know that the Son of Yahweh has come and had given us an understanding. And had given us an understanding. <laughs> That's yep. a, he's come and he's given us understanding. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That we may know him that is true. Right. So when you talk about the spirit of truth, it's dealing with understanding. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a good verse to show that. Yep. And we are in him that is true. Even in his son, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, this is the true power and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Haman. No. And that, that was pretty it. I, I mean, pretty much it's mm -hmm. like it. Uh, you know, I don't really have nothing else, but, uh, you know, I do hope that that was... Edifying. That was edifying, mm. you know, onto the the body, the body of the, the, the hopeful elect. elect. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you have to understand, you have to have the understanding of, of these scriptures. Right. And uh, to understand what it's talking, or to know what it's talking about. Right. For you to know, you have to under, understand. You know, for you to know this book, you got to understand it. And just right. just being able to quote accounts and go and really make a lot of these people think they understand the Bible and they 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 twisting and mangling, mangling the scriptures, you know. And you can always when in the the way you know that there's no understanding in it is always there's holes in the, in in what they teach. Swiss cheese, you know the Swiss cheese doctrine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. 
Shit. You got some? Nope. Oh, Anything la, la. you want to add to this? La, la. No. Nope. And that's the whole point of us it out, bro. Um, doing what we doing through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is to give understanding. Matter right. of fact, real quick, let me see something like. Uh, real quick, I'm going to bring out this account. This one, uh. Right. The Lord, uh, well, at the time, it, his name was Saul, but the Lord, you know, changed his name to Paul, okay? Right. But I'm going to bring this out real quick just to, to expound on what it is we just got through saying. This is the book of Acts 26, and I'm going to start at for verse 14. It says, And when we all fall into the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. We finna find out what the purpose is. To make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen and of those things in the which I shall appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness. What is that talking about? Right. To open. When, you, when the scripture is talking about your eyes being open, mm -hmm. it's not talking about somebody got they fish eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their eyes got big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And their eyes were open. Oh, yeah. It's talking about your spiritual eyes. Mm -hmm. You know? Opening up your understanding. Go ahead. It says... To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto Yahweh. Didn't that scripture say that when Yahweh, uh, I think it was in Luke uh, 24, the 24th chapter, it said when Yahweh was going into the scriptures and when he had came back, uh, and he was crucified and he had came back and he was doing with the disciples, mm -hmm. uh, he, he said, they said, uh, did y'all feel the burning in your in your mm -hmm. spirit, in your uh, heart mm -hmm. or in your uh, in your spirit or that that fire or that enlightenment? Come, you know. Yep. It's, it make me think mm -hmm. of the scripture where the scripture that say, uh, "Keep your lamps burning, your yeah. loins keep your loins girded, girded, and your lamps burning." Mm -hmm. No. It say in. Uh, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto Yahweh, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Okay? And that's just, you know, I just wanted to bring that out because that's what we're doing too. We out there on the highways and byways to give our people understanding the of what Gentiles. this works. The Gentiles. The. <laughs> How about that? The. No. But if you don't have no understanding, right. you think the Gentiles is every every nation. Every every people walking the earth, man. You got natural Gentiles and you got Jakes that's in a Gentile state of mind, man. That think they other nations. If a a a, a Judite is calling himself an African American. He's in a Gentile state of mind, man. Okay? Um. But yeah, you got to have understanding. All right? That's all I had. I, you got something? Uh, that, that was it. Okay. I was I, I want to make sure I was correct. I went back reading the account. I believe uh, it was it was Peter. Peter and others that dwelt with that were dwelling with Peter. That uh, that made the statement uh, in thirty in Luke twenty four and thirty two, and they said one to another, "Did not our heart uh, burn, burn within us?" Okay. That that statement that was made, I believe that was by Peter, Peter and uh, and uh, who whoever was dwelling with uh, Peter. Uh. I'm looking for something real quick. Because verse 34, it said, 
saying the Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared to Simon. Oh, yeah, because the 33rd verse, it says, And they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together. Oh, yeah, clear. That's why, because I said the apostles mm -hmm. or the disciples, but they they wasn't all, it was just Peter and whoever was with Peter, you know, um, I believe Mary Magdalene and the other Mary was with him. Oh, yeah, yeah. From, uh, you read uh, earlier in the, in the verse. Right, because the women came and said that he wasn't in right. the sepulchre. Come Cleophas. Right. Cleophas. Cleophas. Cleo, Cle, yeah, Cleophas. Cleophas. Come on. Was there. So, I just want to make that, you know, so make nobody sure, don't right. get on camera and say, yeah, hey, you don't know what the hell they talking about. <laughs> yeah, come We're talking about understanding it. Right. We, you know, mangling the scriptures. But that that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, you know, we hope that this uh, lesson was edifying. Come. And uh, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. That's men that taught us this truth. Come. Uh, peace and blessings to all you brothers out there that are pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Come. Who are the hopeful elect. Inshallah. Inshallah.